Hey everyone, this is Rob at the Retro Gamer. I uh, want to kind of talk to you about what's called a Nixie tube. Um, these pretty much uh, lasted up until I believe the 80s sometimes. Uh, you can still find the tubes on eBay. They're primarily in uh, like Latvia, uh, the Ukraine, Russia. But basically it's a type of tube that uh, has numbers inside of it. So if you look closely, there's the four, but you can see the outline of the five. Here's the six, uh, the seven, and the all all zero through uh, nine digits are actually in this one tube. So I don't know what caught my attention to these things, but I actually did uh, purchase a Commodore calculator. Uh, here's a web search on Google. Uh, Casio apparently had the, it looks identical, this is a Casio one, it's a Casio 121A. It does have the Nixie tubes in there. The Commodore version is a 512, but again it looks identical. Uh, here's a picture of the inside. Here's the actual tubes that have the displays, or that show the numbers. Uh, obviously there's, back in the day the circuit boards were quite extensive just for uh, adding, subtracting, division, and multiplication. Here's another one of the boards. So very complex uh, machine for its age. There's the actual display. So I got one and uh, I'm going to show you the real McCoy here. So here we go. Uh, one thing when I pulled it out of the box, I actually bought this off eBay. Uh, they are very kind of challenging to find. Uh, the one I purchased was about $150. Uh, they're, they usually range anywhere from about $200 to about $800. So uh, there is some yellowing on the keys here. A um, little bit on the dirty side. I've not cleaned it up yet. I'm going to uh, do that here in a little bit. But it, it all functions. And uh, for the money that I saved, comparatively speaking, uh, here's how big that guy is. And here's a, a calculator. This is a Radio Shack calculator, probably from the uh, 80s or 90s. So. <clears throat> just to give you a comparison uh, in size here, I mean this thing's just monstrous. Here's your, I mean, <laughs> it's it's really tall. Here's your slim one. Now I'm imagining, you know, obviously nowadays calculator is going to be like on this size uh, that you have. But let me turn it on, kind of show you what it does when it turns on. So all the displays will light up for you. <clears throat> so when you start typing on the keypad the zeros don't go away like in a normal calculator when you start typing <coughs> excuse me there's nothing on the left until you populate the field so but on this unit they always stay on and actually most calculators you can only go up to like maybe eight digits I think uh, unless it's scientific then obviously they can go higher than that <coughs> but I'm up to nine and there's three more digits available so uh, obviously, I'm assuming, let's do like times two here. So yeah, it's uh, the, the displays that you do see actually do, you know, function all the way out. Let's do times like 12, 10 here. So times 100. So yep, there, that's a fold, what, what is that, 12 digit? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yep, well, yeah, 9 plus uh, 3 would be 12, so. But anyways, um, if you look real close, you can kind of, I don't know if my camera's going to be able to see the uh, actual other numbers inside. I can see it visually here, but I don't think the focus uh, is going to work. I'll get a little closer here. Nope. So, but anyways, uh, I, if you find a Nixie calculator, I'd actually recommend picking it up. Um, I definitely think these are going to be uh, worth some money in the future. Um, they are just very unique, uh, and this is, like I said, the first one I've ever touched, and I've been a lot of, around a lot of electronics and a lot of calculators, so it's just a really cool device. Um, I also ordered a uh, clock on eBay. Uh, I think it's coming from the Ukraine. I'm going to pull this up here, too, just to show you the one I ordered. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so here's the clock. 
this guy has really good feedback and he actually makes the uh, clocks out of Nixie tubes and there's several different sizes I, I got the there there's a tube I think is a 14 uh, where the number five is actually like an upside down two so I, I didn't want that I wanted the actual five so to get that you either have to buy really large tubes which means the clock is like you know five to six hundred dollars just for a clock um, or you get one a little bit smaller but it actually has you know legitimate five um, I'm not sure why they have the upside down two I, I don't know if it was just to save money uh, and the filaments inside here uh, but this clock actually has the uh, hours, minutes, and seconds, and um, in his listing, uh, he's got it where you can actually change the color, nixieshop.com if you want to go visit his website. But you can actually change the base colors too, so he, he must have some LED lights under the actual tubes itself, because obviously back in that day, uh, Nixie tubes didn't have LED lights. Uh, but that kind of will give it a neat uh, look when it's powered up. And um, he's got a sleep mode programmed into it. Apparently these tubes do have a, a set limited life. So you don't want to leave these on 24-7. Uh, or you can, but you know, you're going to burn through your tubes. And given that they don't make them anymore, uh, you're probably going to want to not leave it on all the time. And he also has a, uh, a slot machine feature on this, which means that every five minutes the uh, the displays will roll the numbers zero through nine. That actually prevents uh, like a burn-in type poisoning of the uh, cathode cathode uh, in the tubes itself. So, uh, anyways, I'll probably post a video when I actually get the clock. I think that's going to be neat. But I got this one coming. Uh, so anyways, I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe to our channel. And again, these are Nixie tubes. Uh, you can find them in older uh, clocks and calculators and you can also get new clocks uh, with the tubes uh, from, again, they're, they're mostly going to be from overseas. So again, I appreciate you watching. Take care.